Welcome to MTG Friends, I'm Ryan. We're doing Varina, the Lich Queen, Legendary Creature Zombie Wizard. I was doing Draft and Double Masters and cracked one of these. I don't think I actually played with it, but I was like, ooh, I would love to make a commander deck out of this now that I have the card. Uh, it is a reprint. I don't remember from what year, but you know what? I have that information right at my fingertips. Uh, Double Masters, Commander 18. Okay, com apparently this was in Commander 2018. And I have no memory of that, but hey, whatevs, whatevs. So let's get into it. This is going to be somewhat zombie tribal, but uh, we're in white, blue, black, which makes this even more versatile and even more fun. So let's look at the packages. The packages, and as usual, thanks for tuning in, folks. Thanks for going on this little journey with me all right shenanigans of course protection just one piece the one we would expect to see in white some draw some ramp a few tutors the land reanimate package whole hell of a lot of zombies some removal and some life a little bit of life not a ton of life but a little bit a little bit where it counts where it counts folks all right, so what does this thing do? Whenever you attack with one or more zombies, draw that many cards, then discard that many cards, you gain that much life, which is why we have a few reanimate spells in here. And for two, exile two cards from your graveyard, create a tapped 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. We're most likely not going to do that second part, but hey, you never know. You never, never know. Apparently we're gonna start with draw. So let's start with draw. Crit breaker for one black zombie. For two, you can tap, discard a card, put a two, two black zombie creature token on the battlefield. Tap three, untap zombies you control, you draw a card and you lose a life. That last part is the important part. Distant melody, since we're tribal enough, choose a creature type, draw a card for each permanent you control of that type. Factor Fiction! Reveal the top five cards in your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Kindred Discovery, great for tribal. As it enters the battlefield, we're gonna choose zombies. Whenever a creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. Mystic Remora. Super great, not quite as great as Rhystic Study, but it's great. Uh, for one, up, cumulative upkeep one, whenever target opponent successfully casts a non-creature spell, you may draw a card. That player may pay four to counter this effect. So in simple terms, cost them four for you not to draw a card. Rhystic Study, whenever an opponent casts a spell, any kind of spell, you may draw a card unless they pay one. Such an annoying card. That's why we're running it. All right, apparently we're in land now. Um, Arcane Sanctum. We're going to actually go through the land because we're dealing with three colors and there's a few things in here that maybe might not normally be in here. Arcane Sanctum does come in tat, but it's the colors uh, that we need. Cabal Coffers for two. Add black for each swamp you control. And yes, we're running the make all of our land swamps card. We'll get there. We'll get there, I promise. Command Tower, yep, Flood of Strands to go fetch, fetch what we need. Shock Lands of all of the colors, a few islands, uh, the Fetch Lands, all the Fetch Lands that we need, all the Shock Lands that we need, the ones where we have two or more opponents. Obviously, if you end up, if you tend to play 1v1, you want to pull these two or more opponents cards out. Um, a, a little bit of sack going on. Sacrifice a creature, add two to your mana pool. That's Phyrexian Tower. Otherwise, it's colorless. A few planes, the fetches, all the fetches, all the shocks. Uh, the um, Triome. Actually, it doesn't say Triome on there, but it is a Triome. Raffings Tower and its battlefield tap. Cycle three. Yeah, buddy. In our colors. Sea Cloud. This is a opponent's one. Few swamps, unholy grotto because this is uh, zombie specific. For one black tap, put target zombie card from your graveyard on top of your library. And then of course the one I was referencing, Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth. Each land is a swamp in addition to its other land types. And shocky shocks, there you go, land package. All right, life. 
Sanguinate, X black black, each opponent loses X life, you gain life equal to the life lost this way. Super duper great against three other opponents because you get times three life. Mm -hmm. oh, unraveling mummy because it's a zombie. For two, target attacking zombie gains lifelink until end of turn. That's the main win we want. Target attacking zombie gains death touch until end of turn. Wayward servant, black, white, white, black. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Yay. Yay. Teferi's proc. We're in white. We're running. Teferi's protection. Everything phases out until you're upkeep. Can't lose the game. Can't lose life. None of your permanence exists. It's all good. All good in the hood. All right. Ramp, ramp, ramp. Arcane signet, of course. Uh, crypt gas. Every time you tap a swamp, add an additional swamp. For that dark ritual for three i mean you get three uh signet in our colors kirk because we want a little bit more life gain and all of the black mana and we're mostly in black here we got some blue we got some white but we're majority black y'all uh for each black in a cost you may pay two life rather than pay that mana whenever you cast a black spell I'll put a one one count on kirk is it Kyrick or Kyrick? I think both are fine. Land tax. At the beginning of your upkeep, if an opponent controls more lands than you, you may search your library for up to three basic land cards. Notice it says basic lands, so it can be any of them. We love that. Put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Magus of the Coffers. To tap, add black to your mana pool for each swamp you control. So you really need Urberg out there, or otherwise that is just not as cool. Um, black Nakiri Revenant gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. And whenever you tap a swamp for mana, add an additional black. Soul Ring, mm -hmm. Way, uh, Weathered Wayfarer. Uh, this is the for one white tap, search your library for a land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle, activate it only if an opponent has more than you. All right, we are into reanimate. I feel like I'm talking really, really fast. Or am I just doing this at 2x speed? Probably not, because then I'd be talking more like this. All right, you know, Gollum, sort of. Gollum. Uh, animate dead for two. Go reanimate. It gets like a minus one in the power or something. Yeah. So reanimation spell. Yay. Go grab a creature, any creature. Intuition. This card I stumbled across. I had totally forgotten that it existed. It's so awesome. I'm actually probably going to go pick one of these up for this deck specifically. But it's going to cost. It's going to cost you in the wallet, y'all. Search your library for any three cards and reveal them to target opponent. He or she chooses one. Put that card into your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Shuffle your library afterwards. This is not banned in Commander. What? Awesome. Awesome. It fits right into this deck. Necromancy, more reanimate, go grab a creature. You know what it is. And reanimate, go grab a creature. Oh, but this one costs you life uh, for its converted mana cost. All right, we got a little removal. Removal. And white, black, anguish, on making exile target online permanent. You lose three life. We're okay with that. The Rift. The Cyclonic Rift. Blue is so buenolicious with Cyclonic Rift and it's stable. It's arsenal of sh jank. I was going to say shenanigans and then jank and I said shank. 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 Shanky jank. Turn target online permanent you control for seven. You do it to all of them. All of them that you don't control. Reset button. Damnation. Destroy everything. Beat the swarm. Uh, destroy target creature, but the reason it's in here because you can also do it to an enchantment. Kind of wish it was also artifact, but then this would should would of and should have been like a rare card, but it's a common card, so it just does enchantment, which is super awesome. Path to exile, path, boom, spot removal. What they get a basic land, swords of plowshares, boom, spot removal. They get life. Is this the life one? Yeah. Life equal to its power. Toxic deluge. Boom. More more mass removal, actually. Uh, cost you X life to do mice X to everything. Everything that's a creature. Wrath. Reset button. Um, can't be regenerated. Doesn't hit indestructible, which sucks. But that's okay. OG wrath. 
Lithoform engine. For two, copy target activated or triggered ability you control. You may choose new target for the copy. For three, tap, copy target instant or source you spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. And for four, copy target permanent spell you control. Mainly for that four. And I don't know if you enjoy me reading off these cards and then just saying nothing afterwards. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like this give and take. Sometimes I just read it and I just assume you know why the hell it's in here. Sometimes I try to explain it and then sometimes I over explain. If you would like to put in the comments which of those uh, you, you think I do or if it's all good in the hood, two thumbs up, Ryan, you're doing okay. You're doing okay. It's okay. Don't overanalyze everything you do. Shenanigans. Whenever another creature you control, someone say shenanigans. Someone say shenanigans. What movie? What movie? Whenever another creature you control dies, create a colorless treasure token and crack it for any color you want, y'all. Rebel of riches for five. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure token. Sacrifice for color you need. But most importantly, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control ten or more treasures. You just straight up win, bitches. Boom! Bitches get stitches. No, snitches. Snitches who are bitches get stitches. <sighs> I digress. Torment of Hailfire for that mana sink if we can pull off some serious mana sinks. X! Black, black. Repeat the following X times. Each. Each opponent. Loses three life unless that player sacks a non-land permanent or discards a card. Game winner, folks, right there. End game. Sack all your shit, bitches. Wow, shit and bitches all over the place. Potty mouth. Zombie apocalypse. Because, after all, most of our creatures are zombies. Return all zombie creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tapped. Then destroy... All humans, I guess? Yeah, sure. I'm sure when this originally came out, because I believe this is a reprint. Reprint, yeah, Dark Ascensions. Maybe it was like zombies were against humans. And whoa, what happened, man? Zombies against humans. Maybe that's why uh, Unhollowed is destroy humans when you get smacked in the face with a human. That kind of shenanigans. Shenanigans. All right, tutor, tutor, tutor. Corpse Harvester for five, for two, search a uh, sacrifice creature, search your library for a zombie card and a swamp, and a swamp. Okay. Uh, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. And notice it says swamp card, not basic swamp. That's pretty awesome. Demonic Tutor for two, search your library for a card, put that card into your hand. The OG Tutor. Lighten Tutor. Go grab an artifact or an enchantment. Put it on top of your library. You do have to reveal it. The white one you reveal. Mystical Tutor, I think the blue one you reveal. Yep, reveal. Instant or sorcery, instant speed. Vampiric, you don't have to reveal, but it does cost you two life. All right, zombies. Do you want me to go through all these zombies? Well, I'm gonna, because why not? This is sort of zombie tribal. Cemetery Reaper for three. Other zombies get plus one, plus one, which is the main thing. You can tap it and uh, target creature card from a graveyard. Oh, exile. Yeah. I don't really care about that last half, the exile for a zombie. Eh, whatever. I mean, maybe in a pinch if you need just that two more damage. Champion of the Perished. Um, this was out of Midnight Hunt, I think. Yeah, Midnight Hunt. This is a great card. I keep clicking on this so that it does that. Damn it. Damn it to hell. All right. Um, you know what? I'm just... I'm not going to go through any all of these. I mean, you get it. You know what these things do. Here, we'll just sort of go through here. Um, death Baron, plus one, plus one, and have Death Touch for zombies. This one gets plus one, plus one. It does other shenanigans. Diagraph Colossus. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, enters the battlefield with one, one counter on it for each zombie. You know, I could just as easily be flipping through these like this. Oh, so unprofessional of me to do it this way. Uh, whenever you cast a zombie spell, create a tapped 2-2 two, two zombie. Endless ranks of the, the dead. Beginning of your upkeep. Create X-2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens where X is half the number of zombies you control. Zombie tribe. Fallen Shinomi, it's got ninjutsu. 
so you can smack a bitch with it um, if you have an unblocked, say, zombie or decay, any any creature. Whenever fallen, it, whenever it deals com combat damage to a player, that player exiles the top two cards of the library until end of turn. You can play those cards without paying their mana costs. Hell yes. See, not all zombies are created equally. Some are way more janky than others, like Shinobi. Shinobi! Grave Titan's one that ETBs with an additional two, two, two zombies, and when it attacks, you get two more. Hell yes for zombies, man. Hell yes. My buddy Dana loves the uh, secret layer version of that. Whatever. Grays. Gary. Gray Merchant. ETBs. You get uh, life for the devotion, which is how many black pips you have in your cards. And each opponent loses that many as well. Pretty awesome. We're running it, even though we're not in mono black. Because at very minimum, you're going to drain them for two black pips in Gary. And if you're playing against three other people, at minimum, you're going to get two, 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 which is the math. You got the math. Six life in your favore. Haven Goal, Leech, Leich, however you pronounce that. For one, you may cast... Wow, my eye is itching. Holy shnikes, I'm not editing that out. For one, you may cast Target Creature card in a graveyard this turn. When you cast that card this turn, it gains all activated abilities of that card until end of turn. I mean, I think for Grave Recursion, that's pretty badassery for Shersies. Headless Rider, when a zombie that is a non-token dies, you get a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Zombie-licious, man. Uh, Leech, Lord of Unks. Unks. Unks, Unks, Unks. <laughs> For three. For two, you can tap it, put a 1-1 one, one blue and black zombie wizard creature token in play. And for four, target player loses X life and puts the top X card of his or her library into his or her graveyard when x is the number of zombies you control why couldn't they just say target player loses x life and puts the top x cards of their library well what is this his or her crap it's an older card i think his or her it's just extra words man Lord of the Undead for three, oldie but goodie. I think this is way old. All zombies get plus one, plus one, and for two tap, return target zombie card from the graveyard to your hand. How old is this? Eighth edition, Plane Shift. I think Plane Shift is the oldest. Yes, that would make sense. I did it again, damn it. Did it again. Relentless rot to do 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 Lord of the Undead. All right, next is Necro Duality, one of the coolest cards that came out of Crimson Vow. Crimson Vow was a big old dud. I mean, it had some good stuff, but for the most part, a big old dud. I don't know. Was was Meat Hook Massacre out of Crimson Vow? I can't remember. Necro Duality. Whenever a non-token zombie enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy. Dude, one of the coolest zombie cards ever. Ever. I mean, maybe not ever, but pretty damn good. Noxious Ghoul for five. Man, this shouldn't cost so damn much. Five. What ifs? I mean, it is an uncommon, right? Whenever Noxious School or another zombie comes into play, all non-zombie creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. That's some zombie hate right there. Or no, the opposite of zombie hate. That's some zombie love. Love. Love of the zombies. Plague Belcher, kind of a weird card, but let's use it anyways. Zombie beast. A <laughs> beast. Yeah. For three, Menace. When it enters the battlefield, put two minus one, minus one on target creature you control. So it could be one of your two, two decayed zombies, which also triggers your sack crap. Although, no, that wouldn't trigger sack. It would just kill it. Whenever another zombie you control dies, each opponent loses one life. And that's all good. Everything about this card is decent. Totally swappable card, though. Relentless Dead for two, two, two Menacer. Whenever Relentless Dead dies, at least every, like, third episode you're gonna hear me bitch about 
How much tax is on all these goddamn cards? Holy shit, Sus, man. Gone are the days where it was simple, simple shit going on here. Ah, oh, yeah, it's been a while, but whatever. Whenever Relentless Dead dies, you may pay black if you do return it to its owner's hand. Remember when like cards used to do like one thing or no things? Now it's like, oh, this card does three, four, five goddamn things. Which don't get me wrong, I just like the vent and bitch because I have to read all these damn cards in these episodes. <laughs> Which is fine, whatever. Whenever Relentless Dead dies, you may pay X. I digress, I digress. If you do return another target zombie creature card with converted mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. See, I'm going back into that thing where do I read the card completely outright? Do you already know the goddamn card? Do you not know the goddamn card? Are you going to bitch at me for not reading it? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Ah! It's all good, though. You guys show me mostly love all the time. And when you do, it's like usually nonsense where I'm like, what? You're you're bitching at me for what? <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. It's all love, as Mike Tyson says. Risen Executioner for four. I love this zombie card. Can't be blocked, sure. Other zombies, not itself, get plus one. And on top of all of that, you may cast Risen Executioner from your graveyard if you pay one colorless more to cast it it for each other creature card in your graveyard i mean that's fine it's fine we mainly have it in here for the other zombies get plus one plus one rot hulk i need to pick one of uh, one of these up myself i probably will as i'm putting this together i haven't actually played this in commander yet i know it'll work i know it'll go off i know it'll be awesome trust me this is going to be a fun deck i'm putting this one together i promise you and then i will play it on commander night live for our channel i promise yes sir bobalicious yes sir i have most of these zombies anyways rot hulk for seven it does cost seven shit but that's okay. Menace, 5-5. Five, five. When it ETPs, return up to X target zombie cards from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is the number of opponents you have. Hell yeah. So I can play this for seven. It's got Menace. It's a 5-5, five, five, which is all decent stats. Maybe not for seven, but then I can go grab what's likely three more zombie cards out of my, out of my graveyard. Hell yes. Rot Hulk, I salute you. Shepherd of the Rot. Uh, tap. Each player loses one life for each zombie on the battlefield. Hell yeah. Smack you in the face, bitches. Man, I am swearing a lot in this episode. DC Undead Vizier for five death touch exploit. Whenever this creature enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice creature, yes. And then if it exploits, you may search your library for a card. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. You don't even have to show your opponents what the hell you went and grabbed. Hell's Bells Vizier, I also salute you. Undead War Chief, just straight up tribal. Zombie spells you cast cost minus one colors less to cast. Zombie creatures you control get, oh, not a plus one, plus one, but a plus two, plus one, bitches. Zombie Master, and I think that's the last of our zombie action. All zombies gain four black, regenerate this creature, and it's got Swamp Walk. What? Swamp Walk, we've got Urberg out. We're just smacking people in the face without being blocked. All right, maybe board didn't make it. Didn't make it, folks. Maybe board didn't make it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So if you notice, this is zombie-licious fun. You're gonna love it. It's great. It's in three colors. So yeah, I mean, you could do zombie tribal, mono black. You, you'll obviously pick a different zombie for that kind of shenanigans, sh shenanigans fun. But we are in three colors. I can never want, remember what these three colors are called. White, blue, black. I don't remember. I don't remember what that one's called. But anywho, anywho. Uh, Verena is gonna be fun had by you for sure. Maybe not your opponents. Um, it's powered pretty good, powered pretty good in this build. So enjoy. If you made it all the way to the end of this episode and you're still happy with what you watched, 
and you aren't a subscriber, well then you know what to do next. And if you haven't liked this episode yet, you know what to do. I don't know if liking these episodes make any damn difference or not, whatever. It strokes my ego, I suppose. <laughs> whatever. I should probably just end the episode now. Or if you're still there, maybe we should just have a, a conversation. You and me, let's have a conversation in the comments field below. We'll talk about anything you want. Anything you want. And maybe not politics. I, politics bore me. But anything else, we could talk about life. Talk about anything existential. Uh, and definitely, if you are having a rough time, and magic is like how you keep yourself alive, it's one of those main things that makes you go, oh, I don't want to... I, I I am still going to be on this planet mainly because magic is enjoyable and I love it. Put it in the comments. Let's start a dialogue. We can start a separate dialogue. It doesn't even have to be in the comments section. Anyways, you're all loved. Thank you for being part of this. And uh, check out our other stuff. And coming soon, we'll have some more live events. And if you beg me enough, I'll even do a few episodes where I'm playing on Arena. I tend to not do that because there's like two people who watch it. But hey, if you're one of those two people and you really want me to do it, I'll do it. Wow, I'm so long-winded in this episode. Bye!